Hello, welcome to Cosmos and our demonstration on how to easily connect your Lightspeed Point of Sale with your WooCommerce web store. Cosmos Async connects your shops, restaurants, bars, retail stores to accounting, point of sale, ERP, CRM, and marketplaces. Within minutes, you can connect. It's easy with Async. Now that you have connected Lightspeed to WooCommerce, you'll need to add your order actions. Let's toggle down and click Send Orders to Lightspeed. Continue. You can give a friendly name if you're using multi-location or hit save. Go back to actions, create action. We will also need to add your orders for your status change. Find mention orders, WooCommerce, update the order status. Continue, hit save. Now let's go ahead and configure actions. Click configure and follow the instructions with the question mark. We're going to download the orders in processing status. Processing status is a successful order that has been captured in WooCommerce. Let's hit save. For light speed, let's choose our SKU. We'll choose custom SKU. Your shop ID can be found here. In our instance is one. Employee ID can also be found here. Log into Lightspeed, click Employee Setup, or choose an online orders. Employee ID equals five. Enter five. Register ID, register one, ID equals one. Payment types, choose an online, and our payment type is seven. System ID for Lightspeed to track shipping charges. So you'll need to create a product called Shipping. Inventory, Shipping, and here's our system ID for Shipping. If you want your orders to be completed to update your inventory right away, just enter true. And if it's a special order, true. If not, enter false. As mentioned, you can see instructions here. Now to track your shipping charges, you need to enter the shipping name. In this example, shipping. So line item for taxes is another product that needs to be made. And enter system ID. Now hit save. You can view your saved settings by just clicking on configuration and validate your settings. If you need to change them, go ahead and make a change and hit save. Now let's update our status change. When order downloads, you want to change the status to something else so you won't download it again. Let's change to on hold. That way you can process that later with the tracking information. Um, you also will need to choose a date for your order. So we're going to just go back one day. Hit save. Back to dashboard. Now to process your order, you need to add the actions into the order. We're going to do download order first. And after, find the matching order and change the status to on hold. Give it a name, hit save. Let's look at Adidas Smart Soccer Ball. And we have 40 total units in Portland. Let's log into WooCommerce and view orders. We have one order in processing ready for download. Now run eSync. You can view your activity logs by clicking here and download a file. View light speed, reports, all transactions, and you'll see we have a new order. Your line items will be listed here. Click details. Your reference number will match your WooCommerce order ID. Order ID 219. If we look at inventory for this product, We now have 39 available from 40. That's the end of our demonstration. If you have any questions, please contact us at CosmosCentral.com with a K and start your free trial today. Thank you.